In this video, we're going to work through a linear programming solution with two decision variables and a minimization objective function. This will be the first video in a series of videos, so let's go ahead and dive in. So a local cooperative shared garden fertilizes on a monthly basis and uses two different fertilizer brands, SuperGrow and CropQuick. After careful consideration, observation, the head gardener has determined that the garden requires at least 16 pounds of nitrogen, 24 pounds of phosphate, and 10 pounds of calcium to have the best crop yield. SuperGrow can be purchased for $6 a bag and CropQuip can be purchased for $3 a bag. Because the cooperative shared garden runs on donations, the head gardener must minimize their cost of purchasing fertilizer. How much of each brand should they purchase to minimize the total cost of fertilizer? So then we have this table here and we can look at it and we can see our chemical contribution and our brand. So SuperGrow has two pounds of nitrogen per bag, four pounds of phosphate and three pounds of calcium, whereas CropQuick has four pounds of nitrogen, three pounds of phosphate and one pound of calcium. So we're asked in question one here, what are our decision variables? So let's take a look at the question. So we're asked how much of each brand should they purchase to minimize the total cost of fertilizer. So how much of each brand? And in this question, we have two brands. So we're just going to say, um, let X one equal the number of bags of super grow. And we'll say let X two equal the number of bags of crop quick. You can use whatever you want for these variables. You could use X and Y um, or anything else. As long as you are consistent throughout your solution, you should be okay. It's important that we put our units in here. So I'll just highlight this briefly. So the number of bags, we're putting that very explicitly in our um, statement about what we're saying for the decision variables. This is important for um, often when we have more complex problems and we want to remind ourselves what did we let each of these decision variables equal, um, but no less it's good practice to get in the habit of that. So that is our answer for question one. We have two decision variables and we're letting x1 equal the number of bags of super grow and x2 equal the number of bags of crop quick. We're then asked in question two, what is the objective function? So let's take a look again at our question. And this time we're asked how much of each brand should they purchase to minimize the total cost of fertilizer? So we have a minimization problem. So we're going to write min Z is equal to, well, we have two decision variables, right? The number of bags of crop super grew, super grow and the number of bags of crop quick. We're told that super grow can be purchased for $6 a bag and crop quick can be purchased for $3 a bag. So all we're going to say here is six X one plus three X two, right? The cost of a bag of super grow is $6. The cost of a bag of crop quick is two is $3. X1 is our variable for super grow, super grow and X2 is our variable for crop quick. So this is our objective function. And then finally, what are the constraints? So in this question, because we're dealing with a linear programming solution, our first constraints are that X1 must be greater than or equal to zero and X2 must be greater than or equal to zero, right? This is our non-negativity constraint. You cannot purchase negative bags of fertilizer. You can only purchase zero or more bags. So that's our first constraint. Our second constraint. Well, the question has told us that the garden requires at least 16 pounds of nitrogen. So if we look at our brands, SuperGrow gives us two pounds of nitrogen per bag and crop quick gives us four pounds of nitrogen per bag. So our constraint, so we'll just say that um, two X one 
two pounds of nitrogen per bag for super grow plus four x2 that's the number of pounds of nitrogen per bag for crop quick must be greater than or equal and we're told that it must have at least 16 pounds so greater than or equal to 16. Our second constraint is that we're told that it must have at least 24 pounds, at least 24 pounds of phosphate. So again, our super grow bag gives us four pounds per bag and our crop quick gives us three pounds of phosphate, phosphate per bag. So we're just going to write this as 4x1, the number of pounds of phosphate per bag for super grow, plus 3x2, that's the number of pounds per bag for crop quick, must be greater than or equal to 24. Greater than or equal to 24. And then finally, we're told that we need at least 10 pounds of calcium. And we're told that there's three pounds of calcium in a bag of super grow, so 3x1 plus, in this case, there's only one pound per bag in a bag of crop quick. So we're just going to say x2. And we said this must be greater than or equal to 10 pounds. So there you have it. We have identified our decision variables. We have written our objective function and we have established our constraints. In the next series of videos, we'll solve this problem using the graphical method, uh, as well as solve for the optimal solution, and then um, a few other videos, so stay tuned. But that is enough for this video. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If this video helped to make business analytics easy, consider giving the video a like. And if you need additional help with business analytics, please consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.